congressional leaders who hoped to strike a deal on immigration reform before the end of the year faced difficult odds to push proposals through for votes. Democrats saw the lame duck session between the election and the start of the new Congress as the last chance to pass significant legislation before losing their majority in the House. Among the immigration-related legislation considered were bills that would have offered pathways to citizenship for so-called dreamers, for farm workers and for Afghans evacuated to the U.S. since last year, and another that would have removed caps on the number of green cards granted each year to P. As of Wednesday night, none of the bills had advanced. I am not giving up on you, don't give up on me. We are going to fight for you to win, Senator Richard A. Durbin, D.L., told dozens of Dreamers at a rally last week, his voice cracking with emotion. The moment illustrated the apparent frustration felt by lawmakers as another opportunity to bring changes to the immigration system came and went. Perhaps the broadest and highest profile of the proposals came from independent Senator Kirsten Sinema of Arizona and Republican Senator Tom Tillis of North Carolina, whose legislation would have bolstered border security funding and expanded the use of detention facilities in exchange for a pathway to see. Tillis and Sinema had reportedly been in talks for months about the deal, which also would have extended the controversial pandemic policy known as Title 42 that authorizes the quick expulsion of migrants at the border without the chance to seek asylum. While some immigrant advocates had been cautiously optimistic about the draft legislation, House Democrats including Rep. Luke Correa, De Santa Ana, said they could not support it, and House Republicans including Rep. Chip Roy of Texas said securing the border should not be coupled with any pathway to. The bill's text was never produced, and time ran out for a floor vote. Chris Ramon, an independent global migration analyst, said the Border Patrol Union's support for Tillis and Sinema's framework showed promise for achieving a compromise. One of the major things getting in the way is there's a sense that whatever they introduce has to fix the border on the first try, 